The British Society of Haematology plays a pivotal role in providing uh, uh, an important resource for haematologists um, across the UK. Uh, that's consultant haematologists, trainees, nurses and allied scientists. Uh, one of the most important features of the BSH is the annual scientific meeting. We're here today in Liverpool at the largest annual scientific meeting we've ever had, which is increasingly serving as a crucible for sharing ideas, sharing best practice, uh, and vitally at a time when transformative new genomics and novel therapies are becoming available for our patients working through how we accelerate assessment of these new diagnostics and treatments and also uh, accelerate uh, patient availability so we improve patient outcome. BSH has other important roles in improving patient outcome. It, uh, with Wiley, shares the ownership of the British Journal of Haematology and there's a new editor just been appointed uh, who will start in January 2019. Professor John Barrett from the United States. Uh, BSH also publishes guidelines which are enormous value to practicing haematologists in terms of informing and standardizing best treatment. And BSH also has a scientific role and supports young uh, scientists and haematologists in their training. About uh, five years ago, uh, the BSH undertook a fairly broad uh, piece of strategic work which uh, asked how could BSH be most effectively modelled in order to fulfil its main aim of improving patient outcome through facilitating healthcare professionals working in haematology. And there were a number of very strong themes that came through. One was to revive the uh, annual scientific meeting and that's happening. We can see that happening today. It's so exciting to be part of this meeting that's now fresh, lively uh, and fun. Uh, there was also a very important piece of guidance about maintaining the important guidelines which the BSH publishes. Uh, and it was also felt that the proposition, the membership proposition uh, for uh, BSH's haematologists and allied staff should be sharpened. So that's uh, happening at the moment in terms of member benefits and then finally it was felt that uh, maintaining and improving the global impact of the British Journal of Haematology was also key. I think the, the progress that's been made in BSH in the last three to five years has really been dramatic and my sense is that we now need to consolidate those gains. So the annual scientific meeting I think has been turned around. We now need to understand how we can make it even more relevant, not only to consultant and trainee haematologists, but also other allied professionals. Uh, and there's a number of events which are a routine part of a haematologist's life that involve travel, which you might reasonably think could be nested within the annual scientific meeting. I think also of trials, workshops, uh, so that's a really important piece is to consolidate and continue that growth of the annual scientific meeting. I think the other really important area will be to define more sharply what is the optimal scientific spend and in what areas in 2018. So increasingly with new genomics and new therapies, one realises that prospective or characterised cohorts of patients and also trials infrastructure is really important in allowing patients to access treatments quickly, but also is a really significant asset for the BSH. And one hopes that by investigating in investigators, investing in investigators and also the underpinning infrastructure, BSH partnering with other supporters of research such as the NIHR can make a big contribution. I think we're gonna see continued growth of the uh, British Journal of Haematology. I think there's going to be greater presence of the British Journal of Haematology at the meeting and I think the annual scientific meeting will be featuring the editor very much more prominently in terms of how to author an article, how to write a grant and we hope also to have sessions of the best papers published recently in the British 
uh, Journal of Hematology. And then finally, I think we need to continue to understand how we best serve our members. And what is it that the membership, being a member of BSH, can deliver to its membership in terms of assets and benefits as we all strive to improve patient outcomes. Well, I've been really struck by the quality of the uh, presentations. The plenary session we had this morning that we shared with Ash was, was outstanding. Many of these simultaneous se sessions are featuring really important presentations. But the posters this year are fantastic. So I'm learning a lot. Um, I'm also relishing an opportunity to meet so many friends and colleagues. And I think this networking uh, role of the annual scientific meeting is uh, increasingly relevant at a time when everybody is so busy.